Hey ladies, a happy October the 3rd. I can't believe that this year is almost over. Like I'm super, super excited for what the future has for all of us spoiled, pretty, paid and privileged girls. So um, happy Monday. Welcome back for another girl chat with Fancy. Now this week we will be posting an extra video here on YouTube. If you are new, we are so happy to have you. I am Fancy. If you are returning, welcome back. And thank you so much for all the love and support. So um, this girl chat is going to be about resisting the urge to contact that man. Now, ladies, I'm coming for you. I feel as though there are so many of us out there that struggle with the need to follow up with a guy, you know, regardless if he said he was going to do something for us or not do something for us, or the urge to just try to put ourselves on that man's mind, regardless of if we need that closure or we're trying to make sure that he's really into us or we haven't heard from him. So we're just trying to check in to you know, remind him that you're that baddie you know, that gave out your number and why isn't he using it? Or if you're chasing after um, a man who has did you wrong, you settled for, you sacrificed, or maybe he didn't do you wrong. Maybe, you know, it just didn't work out and you're seeking uh, validation or understanding or some kind of closure to move forward sis regardless of your reasoning to want to contact him including asking him um to do something that he's already agreed to doing don't do it this is your reminder that we are the prize we get chased and they need to make sure that they're on our mind and if they're not contacting us then we do not need to contact them so I just kind of want to give you a few steps as to how to help make it a habit of not following up with a guy. So um, step one, stay busy. If you have things going on within your life, you're not going to be worried about who's texting you, who's not texting you, who's calling you, who's not calling you, who's giving you attention, who's not giving you enough attention. Make sure that all your priorities, make sure all your responsibilities, make sure that all your obligations are in order. You know, start to focus on, you know, some of the things that you've been dragging your feet to do. So um, definitely stay busy. If you are not in our Patreon, definitely uh, join. It is the beginning of the month. Girl, you are definitely missing out. Um, if you're not on our Patreon, like seriously, what are you doing? And I say this every single time, but I'm totally obsessed with the girls, with the dynamic, with the growth, just with the sisterly love and the tips and the hot tea that is spilt, such as tomorrow, we will be discussing the misconceptions that extracurricular activity workers get spoiled more than sugar babies. And we are pulling out the receipts and I am dropping the tea, girls. So if you're not in our Patreon, um, definitely click on the link and pinned comment. Also, you can find the link to the Patreon within our description. And if you are in the higher tiers, you do get access to our Discord finesse chat. If you are busy or you have an issue with scheduling or time management or just making use of all the hours within the day, um, definitely regardless if you are a um, perfectionist and you waste more time than needed on certain things or you're a procrastinator and you just drag your feet, you know, and rush um, things that truly could have been um you could have taken time doing and you could have, you know, um, had a better result um, if you would have, you know, started and not waited until the last minute. So we have um, an upload um, there in our Patreon that will help you with time management and getting your goals knocked out the way. So um, definitely join our Patreon to get assistance with that. But back to tip number two, ladies, validate yourself. 
you have to give yourself closure. It doesn't matter if that man says that, you know, he was wrong and he's so sorry, but you're just not the woman um, for him. Or if he says that he's just not the man that you deserve um, and you deserve so much better. So, you know, you guys just shouldn't be there. It doesn't matter what this man says to you. You have to know that you're enough. You have to know that you gave your all. You have to know that he's the one missing out. And he's the one falling short and that he will revisit. Again, I've made this analogy before. If you get great service at a, you know, restaurant, if you get exceptional experience when you go to a venue, you're going to return. If you know you was that chick to that guy, you know, regardless of how it ended, regardless of the outcome that you wanted, he is going to return. But you're going to be at an elevated place that he will not be able to reach you. So um, validate yourself and don't seek closure from men. Give yourself closure if that's the case. Step three, to prevent yourself from hitting up that man. If a man is supposed to say, let's say, give you an allowance or he is supposed to be taking you on a shopping spree or he's supposed to be, you know, um, just doing something that you asked him to do or doing something that he has offered to do. Remember that you're not his mother, you know, being a parent um, and being in that leader teacher role is very masculine and if you have to beg a man to do what he's already agreed to do or if you have to help him remember a commitment that he's made to you then that man is not for you so if he is supposed to give you an allowance if he's supposed to do something then you know cause and effect just like if you don't pay your phone bill what happens they disconnect service so if he's agreed for example, I had a um, a coaching call last week and I've had many of these calls where, you know, she stated, hey, fancy, um, I told him he always said, if I ever need something, just ask. And so I was going to a spa. I had a really stressful week. And so, you know, I asked him, hey, you know, could you take care of that? Um, my spa day is going to be X amount of dollars. He said, then he flipped it around made a big deal and stated, you waited to the last minute to ask me about this, why you didn't ask me this before, why you didn't give me notice that all this toxic, ghetto, ratchet, dusty um, behavior. That's kind, kind of what he did. He flipped around on her and he said, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And it went from him going to do it to him saying, oh, well, just go ahead and do it and I'm gonna pay you back. So now, he's using her as if she's a bank and he is going to, you know, reimburse her on this payment. It's just like, sir, this is not like a loan. I'm not going to, you know, accept payment for something that I've already paid for. Ended up happening was within her situation, it even dragged on to the fact that he's now reaching back out to her, not now at this moment, but at that time, you know, and he's totally on a different topic. If you have to deal with a man who is not honoring his word, you shouldn't be dealing with him. Ignore him. Do not talk to him. Do not follow up with him. Do not hit him up. Do not leave him a little note. You disappear, you ghost him, and he's going to learn. If I said that I was going to do something and I don't do it, I already know that she is not scared to walk away. Or... If he genuine, but what fancy, what if he really does have a bad memory and he forgets again, he's going to notice, oh, she's not responding to me. Oh my goodness. What did I do? Did I forget something? Oh yeah. I was supposed to send her money to get her hair and nails done. Oh shoot. Let me go ahead and do it right now. Men know when something's wrong and men aren't, you know, they can be kind of slow at times, but they know how to figure it out if they truly care. And that's the key point. If they truly care, they will figure it out. Now, am I saying you should never, ever, ever, ever remind a guy? More chances than not, it's not our responsibility. So if you want to be and play the nice girl, which, you know, nice girls don't win. We're about our business. We're going to let you know. And, you know, if you get out of line, then this is what's going to happen. So 
you know, if he wants to try to play that game where, you know, he said he was going to send you money for a dress, you know, and he still hasn't done it. And then he calls you and you answer the phone and he's on a different topic and he's talking about what he wants for his birthday and where he wants to go on a business trip and can you come and all this other stuff. Before you answer any of the things that he wants to address, make sure you let him know. Babe, I'm sure it slipped your mind, but you know, I'm still waiting for you to go ahead and send over that money. I have a prior engagement and I'm uh, running out right now, so I'm going to have to get back with you. But could you please go ahead and take care of that and I will follow back up with you as soon as I am able to, you know, get my dress situation taken care of. Thank you so much and I appreciate it. That is a way to be extra nice, which is not necessary because either way, you're training him. We're not here to baby them. We're not here to coddle them. We're not here to beg them or contact them. So if for whatever reason you were planning on ignoring the guy and he tries to call you from another number or you slip up an answer or you slip up and respond or he shows up somewhere, make sure you get to the point. Sir, we're not dumb. We didn't forget. Step number how to prevent yourself from being anxious and you know just having that urge to hit a man up remember and you have to constantly remind yourself that if this guy truly cares about me if i'm someone he you know truly wants to keep in his life then he's going to take all the steps necessary to make sure that he's doing what needs to be done there's no reason of you picking up that phone sis to see if he's with another girl there's no reason for you to pick up that phone sis to ask him why haven't you called me why aren't you thinking of me you know it's not necessary for you to pick up that phone to say hey babe just checking on you i haven't heard from you you know um what are you up to or you don't miss me or uh you better stop playing with me i better start hearing from you all of those responses are very masculine you in turn you start to chase him you start to pursue him you start to chase him he starts to become the prize where you have to do things to catch his intention you have to reach out to be on his mind because at the end of the day he knows that you're thinking about him because you're the one reaching out to him versus you knowing that he's thinking about you because he's reaching out to you so always keep in mind that you want to allow a man to be within their natural state of, you know, chasing after that woman. Play hard to get. If he's not hitting you up, baby, that means that one, he's playing games. Two, he's very occupied um, at the moment. And if he's too occupied, then listen, you obviously don't have enough time for me and I don't have enough time for you at this point because you're not taking the steps necessary to maintain the role that you say that you want within my life. So you're irrelevant. Back to what I've always taught you ladies. These men are disposable. Throw them away as soon as possible. At the first sign of, you know, a flag going from green to yellow to red. Throw that man away and train him, teach him, condition him to treat you in a way that you expect to be treated so um keep that in mind and then the final tip that i want to leave with you girls as to how to prevent yourself from reaching out to a guy is make sure you are around like-minded women make sure you have people to talk to yes as humans, it's natural for us to be, be affected when we feel rejected. Um, and with that being said, you know, if you have a girl who's understanding, who's not judgmental, who's not a hater, who doesn't enjoy your downfalls, who doesn't enjoy when you're sad, but truly understands, you're going to be encouraged and motivated that, you know, and you're going to be a reassured that you are good enough and that man's tripping and we're not going to even, you know, allow our mood to be, you know, shifted because of that. You know, it's so important to have like-minded women in your life. And if for whatever reason you don't have that or you do, but they just don't 
live the same lifestyle that you do, it is very, very, very important to, you know, take advantage. You are here for a reason. You are watching this video for a reason. You are subscribed for a reason. You've made it this far within this video, um, this upload for a reason. And with that being said, we have a community full of women who want to grow, who want financial freedom, who wants to be in their femininity, and they want to live a hypergamous life. So with that being said, join our Patreon. Find your sister. Find your future bridesmaid. Like your BFF could be right at like a click away. We have so many girls linking up around the world. And you girls are truly so sweet, so kind. And I've even learned so much from you girls. And I'm just so thankful and appreciative of the community that we do have. And it would be terrible of me not to want to encourage you to join, you know, and better your your chances of, you know, finding someone, at finding an accountability partner. So I hope you girls enjoyed this quick little girl chat. Um, we will have our Patreon upload tomorrow, Tuesday, the 4th of the month. Y'all, what is going on? Like, I love October. October is like, I don't really prefer fall, but I do love October. And this is going to be a fun month. I hope you girls have the notification bell turned on and you are ready for the uploads that I will be dropping on our YouTube. Now, I'm not sure yet when I'm going to post our additional video this week. It's either going to be Wednesday, it may be Wednesday or Thursday. We'll see. For sure, we'll see. And then, of course, Friday will be our Finesse Friday. So, um, yeah, mark your calendar. Set your alarm. Do not miss when I upload. Go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe to our Snub Mob. Join us as we are sitting up pretty getting paid and living a privileged lifestyle so girls have a great week and i will see you in our next video i love you girls so much and have a good one bye